After several tries of cranking, started up. But I'm also seeing fuel right there where the delivery valves are. I mean, it seems like glow plugs are working. So it's either something is up with the glow plugs or the fuel delivery or air getting into the fuel system. Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in. And today I'm going to be working on this amazing machine, 1976 Mercedes 240D W115 chassis. So I've been having an issue actually, like, and it's a, such a weird issue. Uh, the engine would uh, crank and then it would not start. And then it would take a while for the engine to crank or to actually like start up. And, uh, you know, and it doesn't happen all the time. It's actually intermittent. And then what I noticed that it happens on when you park it like on an incline, when the, the front of the engine is like this on an incline, not like this, but like this on an incline. And it's crazy. If you park it like the other way, the opposite way, it would just start just fine. It would not do anything. It would just be fine. But uh, if you park it on an incline like this, the engine would just keep cranking and cranking and it would take a while for it to start. So it was such a weird issue. So then I started checking things, you know, started checking the glow plugs and everything. The glow plugs were working just fine. Everything was good with the glow plugs. So then I went to the fuel and I thought maybe there's something wrong with the, you know, fuel pressure or whatever. I uh, opened up the fuel injectors, 17 millimeter, four of them, and cranked the engine. The fuel is coming out just fine. But then I noticed there's actually like quite a bit of a fuel leakage coming out of the fuel delivery valves. So I ordered fuel delivery valve seals and uh, crush washers because there's actually seals and crush washers you have to replace. And uh, I'm going to be working on that today. So um, yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, this helps someone out, you know, and uh, just uh, don't forget to save and love your amazing old school machines because they don't make them like they used to. Yeah. All right. So basically when the car's parked like this, as you can see, it's going down a little bit, right? So, but if I park the car the other way, then it will not start later on. Like it will just crank and crank. So yeah, let me show you what I'm talking about right now in this video. All right, let's look under the hood. So don't pay attention to this. This is just, there's just two AC hoses and previous owner uh, deleted the AC compressor and all that. So just have them positioned like this right now, out of the way. But yeah, let's look at these fuel delivery valves. So the weird part is like, they're not leaking. It looks like they're not leaking right now, but they were leaking. I'll just insert the picture right now to show you that they were leaking yeah so it's a really strange intermittent problem actually very very strange but i'm gonna go ahead and change these either today or one of these days i have all the parts and i'll leave the links in the description for you guys for like all the part numbers and everything so you guys can you know do the same thing but yeah it's time for me to start working on this machine making it amazing yeah I have big plans for this car all right, guys, this is the next day. I can finally start working on this machine. So what I want to do first is uh, the best thing is to clean everything here, guys. So make sure before you open all these lines, clean everything around here. Make sure it's all clean. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to loosen these brackets right here. There's a flat head. And then these brackets will come apart. So we're going to loosen those. There's two of them. Take those out and start. Uh, actually, we're gonna start loosening these lines first. 17 millimeter. I'll show you in a second. Right, with 17 millimeter, we're gonna start loosening these lines. And the way I loosen them is just as a set. So I'm not gonna even bother loosening these. You know, hold down clamps, whatever. I'm just gonna loosen them like that, as is. 
So this number two injector line is a pain to get to set to just move this assembly out of the way so I can access this nut to loosen it. Cross foot is gonna be the easiest one in this case. Okay, now finger tighten all these lines back on. Now we're gonna use engine degreaser to degrease this area. Oop, right there. Really important to do that. And I'm gonna use toothbrush. This area has to be super clean, guys. Super clean. This and I got water with me too. So. All right, these are the parts I'll be using. So four crush washers and four seals. The part numbers are going to be in front of your screen and also in the description box. Yeah, so you're going to have to change all of them. So as you can see, pretty much cleaned up here as much as I could. So I'm going to be really careful. I'm going to uh, remove the lines right now, and then. That way it will give me access to the those delivery valves. Be super clean with doing this job. Right, make sure you have uh, clean rags uh, on you or paper towels, whatever. Yeah. That's this one. All right, the next part is taking these aluminum blocks off. I've already loosened them to flathead these off and once these are off we're gonna do a bunch of more cleaning right here all right the aluminum blocks are out now just be really careful and start cleaning some more around here let's just make sure that this thing is as clean as possible before I loosen these delivery valves yeah okay so to loosen these delivery valves you need a three-fourths uh socket thin wall socket or 19 millimeter thin wall socket and yeah just a little bit of force gotta support this and loosen all right start with one first carefully Keep an eye on all the parts. Ooh, that was my mistake. Okay, now I gotta be really careful and clean this area with clean towel and pick. Be super clean right here, guys. All right, so here's that first delivery valve thing. The part, there's a crush washer inside. We have to change and this O-ring is in pretty bad condition. It's the most likely, that's most likely why it was not starting correctly. I'm inclined. Here's a quick difference, new versus old O-ring. And this is a new crush washer is gonna go on. This is the old one. This O-ring is not like brittle, but it's like flattened out, whatever. Strange looking. Here's the delivery valve all cleaned up and everything. Make sure this surface where the crush washer goes to is clean. So when you put the O-ring on, you have to, have to use like a tiny screwdriver and just because you don't want to roll the O-ring through all these threads because it's gonna, you know, you will you will know when the O-ring is not seating properly is because once you turn it around, it's gonna be like all over the place. This one's sitting pretty good. And I'm using just a really tiny bit of silicone paste on this. If you have diesel, that's even better. But yeah, and then I'm gonna install a new crush washer on this guy. Like that. And then this cleaned up spring goes in there. Oops. One hand work. Let's see. 
boy. I really can't do this, huh? Like that. There you go. Now we can go ahead and reinstall this guy. Next one. So this O-ring, I just broke it, but um, kind of see the cracking on it and it's just in pretty bad shape. It's a good thing I'm doing all this. All right, this one, it's a new O-ring and uh, crush washer, everything cleaned up nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and install this guy. Next one, third one, two more to go. And I'll show you at the end, I'll show you at the end how to tighten them. Sometimes these crush washers get stuck over there, so you want to retrieve them. So this is how you walk this O-ring on. You literally just start pushing the pick all the way around. Till the o-ring just gets seated all the way to the bottom you don't want to roll the o-ring on because it's basically like tangling it up that's what it's going to be like that's how you do it properly nice it's tangled up you, if you're gonna try to move it down it's gonna tend to come back up yeah but this one as you can see I can move it this way and it stays so it's not tangled up all right now you're gonna tighten these to 310 inch pounds or 35 newton meters it's really important you have to have the proper torque on these That's it. Now after tightening these delivery valves to spec, we're gonna install these uh, aluminum blocks back on. Right, after the blocks are installed, we can go ahead and install the lines. Everything is torqued right here. I left these lines loose with the injectors. I'm gonna crank it here in a second. gonna crank it now. Let's see. Okay, fuel is not coming out yet. Oh, there you go, there's fuel. Okay, let's crank it some more. Burning off uh, extra diesel here yeah. on these <laughs> glow plugs. Okay, not yet. So gotta keep on. I might take a while. Just want to see fuel coming out of these ports. Put my jumper on because it's taking a while for this air to bleed out. So there's one injector right there. Looks like the second one is waking up. I've got a little more to do. Pedal to the floor. So that one is good. Just waiting on these, huh? Maybe it's not opened all the way enough so I can't see. So finally, looks like we got fuel. And these three, that one already 
uh, let me tighten that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these guys now. So now they're all basically bled. Let's try to start it. Heat up the glow plugs. Hopefully, hopefully enough, I have enough juice because I charged up this uh, battery jumper again, but not enough. A few moments later. Okay, so everything's been amazing. No fuel leaks from fuel delivery valves anymore. Everything is great. So now what I really want to do, guys, is I want to replace these fuel return hoses. I don't really like these, the silicone ones or the vacuum hose style ones. And I want to really change it. So I'm going to do that right now. So just for example, look at how easy this hose is to take off. Shouldn't be this easy. You know what I mean? This is literally the wrong hose type installed on here it's supposed to be this guy right here so i'm going to be cutting it to length one by one and replacing these okay there's this hose it's literally going to go right on here so these are good hoses the ones that are basically like press fit like that a little bit to install them all the way and it goes right over here and look how cool this one is all metal it's not plastic actually that's cool okay look at that just a little bit one by one slowly there we go sweet look at that i love this a lot more than this bs let's take this off Okay, these hoses are all replaced except for this end part so this is a brand new one braided one and as you can see this is what was installed on here install the right part and then the delivery valves look really good no leakage there yeah so later on i'm gonna start taking the valve cover off and doing all like maintenance, the valve adjustment, all the valve cover gasket, stuff like that. All right, guys, we're gonna see how this car is doing. Sitting in the same spot. Let's see if it starts now. It's just a small, little, tiny incline. Start it up. Great. Just so I can show you guys. Sitting right here, the same spot.
right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope this is helpful for you. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to donate to the channel. Links are going to be down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.